In this uh, video tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to use Open Lane. Open Lane is a, a tool chain which helps us to develop a complete digitalized design. That is the complete flow from starting from RTL, that is writing very large HDL code, to generating the GDS2 file. GDS2 file is a file which is uh, so, uh, which is acceptable to the foundry. Foundry people will uh, use this GDS2 file for uh, fabricating the IC. So, uh, first thing is, uh, let's say I am uh, having this repository and I am naming it as a test one open lane, and uh, making this repository as a public and uh, add a readme file. So the repository is required. So let's create the repository. This is the repository. Now repository is ready. Then you go to this code. And here create a code space on main. This you have to click. So it is setting up here basically uh, the complete system for uh, us to use. As um, I, I made a, you know, uh, first video uh, how we use code space for um, digital VLSI front end design. That you can check in case, like what is code spaces if you want to know and how we can use for digital IC design. So, that uh, video one is only uh, dealing with front end design. This is the complete design starting from RTL to uh, GDS2 file generation using OpenLay. So now, <clears throat> few things are required to install here, open lane uh, on the code spaces. So uh, here I have kept ready a few of the things that are required. Like if you go to this uh, install EDA, uh, this shell file, I have few, <laughs> yeah, this is OSIS dependencies and I'm going to install the OSIS here and open STA is, um, Static timing analyzer. This is open source again. And I have here IVary log is a simulator and uh, GTK wave for waveform viewer. So these things I will just copy. And uh, I will be uh, here. I will make a new file. Uh, new file. I'll name it as uh, install eda hyphen open lane and dot s this is the shell uh, file script file so name this extension is dot sh so here i'll be pasting it all of that what i have copied and then these are the magic dependencies magic is a layout tool so before we install this magic itself, we need these dependencies. So them also I'll copy. Here I'll be pasting. And then the actual magic tool. So again, let's see what all we have done. This is installing uses dependencies. So these are the dependencies required by this uses. Uses is open lane uh, synthesizer. Uh, what it does is it takes very large HDL code and it converts to uh, date level. So then we have open STA. So open STA is a you know, static timing analyzer. Um, and then we have IVR log. This earlier uh, I discussed. And then we have this is waveform viewer, GTK wave. And then uh, these are the dependencies, magic dependencies here. Uh, I can write here. These are the magic 
Um, and this is the actual magic that we are cloning here. And uh, we are installing the magic. Now we will go to the open lane. This, uh, these are the things that are required uh, for open lane. So, let's open the link. Copy them. From here. Here it is for open link. Okay. Uh, paste them here. So, these are the required things for the open link. So then sudo make is here enough. So everything is ready now. Um, what I'll do is <laughs> this file is there here in this part. If you do the PWP. This is the path current uh, print working directory PWD stands for. Here uh, in this path, it is like if you do the ls, you will see this install EDA, this open lane is in this path. So I'll go to the home directory by doing the CD. And if you see here, there uh, some default things are here. There's another ls again. Now the default things are the Java, this ENVM. Uh, these are there here in this part. This part is, uh, you can see home code space is the part. Here where uh, the, now this file, uh, I, uh, this file uh, required to be here. So I'll just copy, copy from where? From workspace. Uh, in that this uh, test. Uh, here, this install, this install EDA underscore open lane dot sh to the current directory. So that is dot. So now what I do here, if I do the ls, you can see this file is here. So I have to make this file executable. So for that, uh, let's do the transfer. Mm, ch mod and then 777 and then that install uh, ed underscore open lane that file so now if you do the ls you can see this file uh, is bit color is changed so now i will run that file uh, dot slash install and then present. Uh, so now it will take a little bit of time. So I'll pause the video here. So this will take time. I'll pause the video here. Okay. Uh, welcome back. Once installation is done, uh, you will see here all of these folders like open lane, open STA, I very law, magic, this netlist SVG, uses. So all of these uh, things you will see here. Now uh, let's go to the open lane. What is that? Uh, I mean, how do you do uh, from RTL to the GDS flow? So first thing here is you have to uh do the cd change directory to open lane so this is how you do cd open lane so once you are here in the open lane directory then what is that we have to do is sudo make mount this command we have to do sudo make mount and then uh present it so now you can see here this is uppercase o and here is lowercase o so 
this is the difference that we have. This difference tells us that we are there in the Docker now. So just a minute. Okay. Uh, so that's how you, uh, this tells us the difference. Like uh, uppercase, we are not uh, there in the container, Docker container. Now we are in, inside the Docker container. Uh, so now here, what is that we have to do is we have to create our design. So if you do the LS here, there are uh, different things that you see here, all of these things. So all the designs that we create will go inside the designs folder. So like, for example, if you go to the designs folder, and if you do the LS, now we have here these three designs existing. So now let's say I have created already a fair discuss here. Uh, uh, I mean, the same thing I will create. Uh, with a different name of a two like that so let's do that now so just come back here uh, here so here this command is required in order to create uh, uh, this uh, design our design if you want to create any design so what is required is dot slash this flow dot tkl hyphen design and the design name let's say i want to do the multiplexer and I want to give it, name it as a mux. So that way, we should not be giving the spaces like here, uh, mux four by one is there, mux space four by one, like that way. space should not be there. And then this we have to follow as it is, as it is, we have to follow all this. So let's do that. I'll just uh, copy this command. And I'll go here. I will right click here. So now I have to make this change, right? This is the design name. I'll place it as a FA to on. As I told already, I have created FA. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm just creating this FA2. So remember, this is how the this command is. Uh, from this link, you will get uh, you know this command like adding your designs under the section it is there. So you just press enter. Uh, here's some mistake I have done. So I'm reading out or figure out what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Once we are here, uh, what required is dot uh, um, flow. Then do this uh, hyphen interactive. Interactive. So once you are here, let me try from here. This one. It's supposed to be working from the Docker itself. Is the Docker. I don't need to come inside the tool environment from the Docker itself. Uh, it's supposed to. Stay here, actually. Hmm. 
So this is the same command again. Uh, I just repeat the same command earlier. I guess the mistake was this is uh, like without space it has come. So now there is no space. Mm, press enter. Yeah, this is correct. So it says like this is created here. And I will show that where it is created. Go to CD designs. Now do the LS. Now you can see this FA2 folder. So if you go to inside that FA2 folder, you can see one configuration file and one folder, SRC folder, source folder. Inside this source folder, all Verilog files will sit. Like if you go to this SRC and do the LS, now, right now there's nothing. We have to create a Verilog file. For a full adder. So let us create a file here that is vi fa dot v. Remember the same name must be given uh, for this what we have given. Like uh, I gave this fa2, right? I supposed to be giving here fa2 dot v. Okay, then press enter. And uh, here uh, this is uh, VI editor here to enter anything we have to press insert key and then start typing module FA and then A comma B comma or C in and then some comma C O and then input A comma B comma C in and uh, output some comma c o and then assign some equal to a xor with b and uh, that is xor with the c n and then assign <laughs> here uh, c o equal to thin parenthesis a percent b and then this is for our function a percent uh, c in and then r again and then b percent c in that is for and percent is for and function and then n module Okay, so this is our uh, description for full adder using data flow level modeling. Okay, all right. Now to save this one, first press the escape key and then shift colon. W is to save, Q is to quit. Okay. Now we have done this out, uh, earlier when we did the LS, uh, there was nothing inside the SRC. Now you can see when we, we have done the LS, there is a fa2.v file. Now one step we will come back, cd dot dot, cd space dot dot. And then this configuration file needs to be updated. Now if you see the configuration file, this is a config.tickle. Uh, this is what uh, the file is. So we don't have a clock. So we don't need to perform the clock tree synthesis. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, go to uh, this section. Hit this one, go for the escape and then this one, then Q exclamation. This is uppercase only, okay, Q. I guess. Okay, so I'll go back here. Uh, I'll open that file that is FA. This uh, folder inside that I'll open this configuration file which I did already. So here, see, uh, this is the FA. FA is a module name. So if you want to have a folder name different. Uh, 
and then file name different and ensure that the whatever the module name you have given same module name must be here in that case like uh, fa2 i have created the folder but still i want to create a fa.v file so that fa.v file should have module fa not fa2 so this design name means it's a module name basically and then this is the path this is how it is finding the path where, where log files are and these are the uh, you know another video i have to make on this uh, variables like floor plan core utilization we are setting it to this point uh, 0 0.05 and aspect ratio is a 0.5 so and this run cts tells that it do not perform the clock tree synthesis and design is core uh, this design is core and uh, uh, and this is picking the files like standard cells are uh, required from where it picks uh, that path is mentioned here so this is about the configuration file so what i will do is i'll just copy this configuration file this configuration file uh, till this portion and then copy it right click it's copied and uh, just press shift uh, colon and then q that is to quit that one uh, we will come back one step cd space dot dot and then uh, i'll go to this fa2 fa2 there i will open this uh, config file here i have to update that so for that insert press the insert key and delete all this because i have copied that one i'll be putting that what i have copied here so now that copied one to paste it here right click it will prompt this way paste so now the change is required here at fa because the module name is not fa module name is fa2 uh, i think i gave fa only yes we can work with that i'll show I'll say fa only i gave okay i'll i'll save this file how to save first we have to press escape and then shift column and then w if. so let's ensure that our file here in the source folder Oh, it's a fail. Oh, yes, it is a fail. So that must be uh, the same, like this model name, whatever is there in the, that uh, configuration file, it must be the same. Okay, now uh, shift column Q. Now, mm, even this file name can be uh, a fail dot v so let's do that also let's test move this fa fa dot v so now our file name is fa dot v okay so everything is all right now another thing required here is um, few commands we have to run uh, instead of typing uh, uh, them each time like uh, i'll show that one here um, this is fa your fa underscore synth dot pickle let me open that your fa underscore synth this one these are the commands like uh, you know manually we have to type each time this instead of that if you keep like this in the file uh, then at one go like we can run all of them instead of manually typing only thing is we have to take care like uh, the this package required opening is fine but prepare hyphen design this is uh, fa Mm, this I, I'm a bit doubtful like this the folder name or the module name 
uh, it's a folder name, I suppose. So I'll put the uh, Let's keep a fit to uh, so to, to insert here. We have to uh, press on keyboard insert key, then we can put here and then run synthesis. Everything is all right. So now save this file. So this is W is for saving, Q is for quit. Okay, so this is ready now. And uh, okay, so now type here dot slash floatica space hyphen enter hyphen enter and then press enter so now you are there inside the uh, tool uh, prompt this is the docker here inside the now this tool open link tool uh, now here uh, source typing all of those commands individually one by one we are sourcing that file source and the file is fa underscore uh, synth dot ecl and then press enter so yes there is some issue like i i think this is uh, there is something saying your fa design your fa two do not found so, but I did not give your fate to so let us verify that. Uh, this uh, let's open this FA synth file first. Oh, inside here, your fate to inside. Okay, so that is your fate to it's supposed to be. Uh, press enter, go to that particular thing, delete one, two. And then escape and then save this save and quit. So now again, uh, this uh, uh, dot slash flow dot tickle space hyphen interactive and press enter and then source that file source your fay hyphen synth dot ecl then press enter. So yes, it is happening without any errors. So I suppose, uh, uh, yeah, that's how, uh, you know, that is uh, in the tickle file, it, it is folder name only. Oh, what I mean, I'll show here. Here, this F A underscore synth dot PCL file is there now. So in that F A this file here, this hyphen design is this prepare which design. This is the folder only. This is the folder name that we have to give. So. And where is the model name needs to be given? Model name needs to be given in the configuration file. I'll show that. Here, this model name, if you see this model name, we say of okay. So this model name, uh is to be given where in the configuration file uh go to the configuration file here this is not fa2 the folder name we did not give this is the module name okay so come back here see this process completed then so now to see the results yeah. Uh, what is required is um, first I will go to um, let's see this one um, that is um,
So this open lane folder, what we have to open here to see them here. So how do we open this open lane? Let's do that. Go to this one. Oh, file here. Close folder. Current folder I'm closing. Uh, and then I will open this folder. Open folder. Uh, Fine. Open folder. So this folder, I will browse where it is. This one open lay this one. Here inside that I have designs. Inside this, this is a to Okay. So click OK. Now in this, you have this uh, fade.v file and uh, here you have all of your results. Like for example, if you go to report section and uh, various folders are there, synthesis level water reports are generated at floor plan stage, placement stage, at routing stage, all of this we can see here under report section. Let's go to the synthesis. In synthesis, these are the uh, like various reports are there here. For example, if you go to this, um, let's go to this this report where area is mentioned. So if you go here, number of cells you can see four cells being generated, and uh, chip area is this fifty point zero four eight. So micrometer square, this is the chip area. And uh, like at the place, uh, floor plan stage, if you go, these are the like core area and uh, die area. So these are there. And uh, placement, you go to the placement. I think no report here. The routing section we have this report. Mm. Okay. So in the results section, and this is the reports. In the results section, we will have like uh, if you go to this one, this is the net list. Uh, standard cells. So full of standards to see. And if we go to the floor plan, we will have this def file. This is the def file. This view is not possible in the um, code space. So to view that one, what is required is we need, uh, you know, K layout. This is the tool that is required. K layout. This one, download this one from here. A layout. Here, somewhere it is for Windows. In Windows, fuel system is 32 bit, depending upon that. So, in my case, it's a 64 bit. I have downloaded this one, I have installed this one. So, if you go here and kill the layout. This key layout, it will open up. So here we have to do few settings. Like we need this uh, Skywater a library, and that's all. Uh, so I'll show how to do that one. Go to your code spaces. In code spaces uh, here.
this lib files you have to download first. First thing is this lib files are required. All these lib files. So how do you download? Select them by pressing the control. Select these files. Right click and uh, somewhere here download will be there. Is download and then here on desktop. Demo folder. In this demo one, two, three, I'm keeping this love files. After left files, uh, we need uh, uh, this files. Uh, this technology, how, how do we set this technology? Here we go here, manage technologies. From manage technologies, we have to uh, click here, like right click and uh, import technology. So if you do this import technology, since it is scale layout, scale layout tool, this file is required, the scale layout technology form. So from where do we get that file? We get that file from uh, from here. I'll show that. So for that, what is required is uh, I'll exit from the root. Just type sudo su. Okay. It will change the user to root user. Then do the cd. Come to the home directory of the uh, root. This is the home directory slash root. And then here do ls space hyphen a hidden files it will show hidden files and folders so this folder this is uh, v o l a r e o l a so go to that navigate to that directory that is uh, v o this one here inside here we have this uh, sky 130a so we are using this sky 130a go to that one inside that we have this um, lips.tech go to lips.tech because we need the technology file uh, related to the k layout tool. so go to the k layout section here do the ls we have several things go to the tech folder go to the tech folder inside the tech folder here we have this sky 130 dot lyt file this is the file that is required then how do we get this file here in our local system uh, this is by copying this file copy mm, this sky 130 lyt file uh, to uh, 
slash workspace uh, to that is our repository name. This is our repository name. There, where you have to copy URLs, uh, we can copy to this section also, like a fa two section. Mm, again, we have to change. If you copy here, again, we have to change this folder. Um, what is that we can do is, okay, we'll do one thing. We'll copy to... Slash home spaces here open lane. Inside open lane, we have uh, designs. Inside designs, we have this of a two. <laughs> so here we are copying that. So now you can see that file here. So this file is required. So let's download this file. Download. Keep in the same demo here. So now this, I assume this key layout you have downloaded and installed. Simply what we have to do is go to tools, manage technologies. Then let's say I'm removing this one, remove, delete technology. This, this I'm deleting from here. So now there is, uh, I close this one also. Now, if you go to the tools, manage technologies, now you don't have that one, Sky. So add here, uh, import technology, and then go to the demo folder here. In your case, wherever you have kept this one, Sky 130 in this one, Sky 138.lyt file, open it. So now, once that is done, click OK here. Now change this to uh, Sky 130. After that, um, after that, go to File and uh, here, um, Reader Options. In the Reader Options, ensure that here Sky 130 is there. Now go to this left files here. Yeah. If anything is there, just remove first. Select that and remove. Now add the left file here. So I'm adding the left file here from this demo. One left file I will add. Click OK. Now go to file uh, here. Import this dev file. So if uh, if I try to import the dev file here, um, this dev file, this dev file I have to download from here. Uh, I did not download that. I will download now. This dev file I will told in the runs uh, in the results design exchange file format. This one. Download and uh, in the de demo one two three I'm keeping. I'll go here again. Import. This one with the uh, lots of max. Okay. So if this is giving this error, select the other left file. I'll do one thing. I'll just reading section right here. And, uh, sorry about the reading here. File, go to uh, read options, read reader options. The left file, I'll just remove this one. When you have kept this one here, then directly you can open basically. You can open that dev uh, file. You don't need to import. So just open that file. So if it is giving, this is still there, this max. Uh, uh, this I'll fix now. 
Max left file. So I should not be having several left files here. So I'll go to the reader options again. We'll ensure that Maybe one left file I'm reading here. Okay. I'll remove this one. From here I'm removing. I'll do that import. So that fixes the issue. Define. In that, I will select uh, this norm left file. Still pointing to min, the same min in some other. Let's select that again. Import. Uh, select the min itself. Again, select the max this time. So, what I'll do is I'll separate them. Create a separate folder with the name of A. I'll give this stuff uh, and one this one. Give them, give them here. Okay. Now go to this um, reader options. Uh, here, select this particular left file and then click OK. Go to open. Just select this left file. Then, in that case, Remove this one. Get the max. Unable to open user. The file is wide in the system. I'll fix this issue. Okay, the fix is this like uh, we have discussed like how to fix this technology. How to add this sky 130 but mm -hmm. while opening that file that, that uh, this was causing the problem so the fix is this go to this reader options here uncheck this one under left def file uncheck this one for a def also read all left files from in the same directory this one then add any one left file here like in this case, this is the left file being added. And now if I go and open this left file, so view or uh, the view we can have. So similarly, we can what we can do here is uh, Like in the placement, if you go, you have this dev file. So all of these dev files uh, like that, we can uh, read in in the K layout. After routing also, we will we'll be having this dev file. So like that. So let's download this one. And I'll place this one in the demo here, routing dev file is. Um, 
Now if I go to the scale layout. Open so this is after routing that ranges we can have. So that's how uh, it is possible using code uh, spaces to starting from our RTL design to this complete GDS file it is possible. GDS file I will show now. This is our GDS file. This GDS I will download. So this is our complete uh, GDS file uh, that we sent to the application. So in this video, that's all like uh, how to install the open name on uh, GitHub code spaces and how to use them from RTL design to GDS2 generation. Uh, this uh, I have demonstrated and uh, we can not able to view the files such as this gds or dev files here there may be some other uh, i mean way to view on the code spaces right and currently i don't have that uh, idea like how to view the workaround is uh, we have to download them in our local system and use this scale layout uh, for viewing purpose so if you have any queries, please um, post them in the comment section. Uh, okay, all right, thank you.